Gentlemen, I've got to admit, I had a lot of fun with this video. I went out there, did some research, came up with 10 strange ways to be more attractive. Really quick, before I get into the 10 strange ways to be more attractive, I want to share with you an email I just got. Hey Antonio, just a brief note to say my Vincero Chrono is freaking awesome man. Better than I expected. Thanks for enlightening me brother, DT. Well DT, I guess we're brothers from another mother, but uh, you guys get the point. I am happy to bring you sponsors like Vincero that put out great products. And guys, you know this isn't a strange way to be attractive, simply wearing a watch that is going to get compliments. And that's what the guys over at Vincero have done. Literally, this is the type of watch when you wear it, people are going to be, man, that only cost that because it looks 10 times more expensive. One thing I love about my sponsors, they always send me extra products. So I've got three watches. I don't have three wrists. I have, you know, two wrists and I'm not going to wear two watches. You guys get the point. I want to send these out to you. So go over, visit Vincero. Let me know your favorite style, the watch you would like to receive. And who knows, I may be able to get that one out to you. I just sent out a couple. Now I'm going to tempt you guys here. I'm going to pull up some of the pictures from Vincero. I'm going to show you some of the different watches, but let me share with you some of the spec details. We're talking 316 L surgical grade stainless steel, sapphire coated mineral crystal glass. Basically, it means it's scratch resistant, five ATM water resistance, luminous hands. So you're going to be able to see them at night, genuine Italian leather bands. And we're talking about a 22 millimeter width. Now the casing is 43 millimeters in diameter and the thickness of the casing is 10.5 millimeters. All of this goes into gents. Basically what they delivered here is a watch that's going to get compliments, a watch that's going to help you stand out and a company I'm proud to have as a sponsor. So first up on our list of strange ways to be more attractive, don't use generics and don't buy counterfeits. And really guys, it comes down to confidence, both two separate studies here and what they showed people that use generic products, they're oftentimes settling for second or third best. They're going with generics because they're cheaper and oftentimes they stick with generics out of habit. But what happens is it instills a sense of inferiority that these people don't feel that they're, they just don't feel good enough. And this can have an effect. This can actually be picked up when people look at pictures of people, they feel that this person just doesn't look confident. Now, when it comes to counterfeits, perhaps you're looking at a bag and you want to go with something that has a premium brand label, but you buy a counterfeit, you buy something that you know is a fake, that's something that's a lookalike. Well, whenever you're around somebody, you're worried that they're going to find out. All of this leads to a lack of confidence, which makes you less attractive. Number two on our list of strange ways to be more attractive is to move around in groups, to basically enter a bar, to enter a party with a group of people. Now in movies and stuff, we see the lone wolf and oh, that's attractive. But in real life, people are suspe they, they suspect something of someone that comes in by themselves. When you come in with a group, you have validation. Other people are saying this person's good to go. He's with us. And in general, we find people who move in groups more attractive than if they were by themselves. Number three on our list of strange ways to be more attractive is to actually be more mindful. So what's interesting is this came out of a 2015 Australian study on speed dating and they asked all these questions of the candidates before they actually started doing the speed dating. And what we found is men, of course, were more attracted to the more attractive women, but women, on the other hand, they were more attracted to the mindful men. These are men who had identified themselves as thinkers, as men that would ask deeper questions, as men that basically were more mindful. So be mindful and come off as more attractive. Next up on our strange ways to be more attractive is to own your odd. So if you've got a big nose, if you've got wild, crazy, curly hair, if you are a tall and lanky guy, well, you know what? There's not much you can do to hide this and you might as well own it. So basically go rock star. Don't be afraid to grow out that hair, to wear clothing that emphasizes how how tall and how thin you are and just own the look. Yeah, you know, some, it's going to turn off some people, but for some people, it is going to be something that they're drawn to. They're going to like, I love men with your frame. I love your confidence. A friend of mine, he tall, thin guy. He actually talked about how he was a drummer in a band and he started picking up, you know, just accent pieces. He wasn't afraid to own the, own the fact that he was a tall, lanky guy. And all of a sudden he had a lot more luck with the ladies. Next up on our list, wear red. So there was a 2010 
cross-cultural study. They studied participants from China, from the United States, from Great Britain, and from Germany. And they found across the board, women had a higher opinion, were more attracted to men who had some red on their clothing. Now, some of you guys notice I usually, I'm wearing a jacket. I, you can simply wear a red pocket square. You don't have to go all out. You don't have to wear a red suit. And understand that red isn't the only color that necessarily works. Some women, they liked purple. Some liked green. Some liked orange. Some liked yellow. Not to the level of red, but there are other colors that you can use that women are drawn to. They're going to be more open and they're going to be more attracted to you. Number six on our list of strange ways to be more attractive is to wear heels. And I'm not talking high heels or cross dressing here, guys. What I'm talking about are boots. I'm talking about shoes that actually lift you up an inch to, in some cases, two inches. What we're looking to do here is increase height. When you increase height, you immediately slim up your frame and you become more attractive. They've shown that women are attracted to men that are taller than them. So, you know, if you're relatively short, let's say you're five foot five, five foot four, well, if you're wearing a pair of boots that gives you another inch and a half, then hey, there's quite a few women that will be looking up to you and that's good. If you're taller, if you have a lot of, a lot of room here around the midsection, you want to be taller because what that does is it does make Make you look thinner. When I look at you from a distance, all of a sudden your weight is distributed over a taller frame. So looking taller, more attractive. Next up on our list of strange ways to be more attractive, use sarcasm or self-depreciating humor. Couple things here. Sarcasm shows levels of intelligence. Women are attracted to that. Self-depreciating humor, that shows that you are confident in who you are, your abilities, and you're not afraid to be a little bit vulnerable. Again, women are attracted to this. Number eight on our list of strange ways to look more attractive is to look older. I'm not talking extremes here. So you don't want to look like you're 110 and like a shriveled up raisin. No, we're not going there. But if you're in your 20s, in your 30s, there's nothing wrong with dressing like a man, dressing like you've had success. If your hair is starting to gray, great. Don't try to hide it. Run with it, especially if you've got a youthful build, a youthful body. So it's okay. you know. And, and what they're looking at and what the study based it off of, again, was hair, was overall the clothing. Basically, they weren't looking like boys. So number nine on my list of strange ways to be more attractive, eat sweet potatoes, eat carrots, eat dried apricots. Basically, guys, what we're going for is a carotenoid tan. Basically, a carotenoid tan was viewed as more attractive than a regular suntan, which was viewed as more attractive than being pale. So add a bit of color to your skin by eating the right foods. Next up on our list, gentlemen, of strange ways to be more attractive is to roll your shirt sleeves and show off your forearms. Yes, ladies love forearms and they love them in all shapes and sizes. I know. I went through the threads over on Reddit. We did the research. They like hair. They like tattoos. They love veins. I don't know what it is about veins and men, but women love veins on a man. So make sure to get those forearms in shape. That goes a little bit beyond what we cover here at Real Men Real Style, but I'll link you to a great forearm uh, workout down in the description below. All right, gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know we had a lot of fun doing all the research, coming up with these topics. Hopefully you learned something new. And don't forget, go check out Vincero, a great brand, makes an amazing watch. I'm proud to have them as a sponsor. And I am serious that this is something when you look at it, you feel it, you wear it, you're going to get compliments. Overall, I mean, you're going to say, wow, this should cost a lot more than it does. And I've got that great discount code for you down in the description. Go use that discount code. Get this for yourself for Christmas. Maybe give it as a gift. Whoever gets this is not going to, they're not going to be disappointed. Beautiful watches. Guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.